be here. Art, 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 art 101 with Mr. Burger. <laughs> and scholars welcome back to art 101 with me mr burger i'm a professional artist a master educator and i attempt to provide you with the best in art historical content now if you like this video if you like the series if you like the work that i'm doing pass it along share it with your with your fellow dudes and uh you know subscribe that'd be cool thanks yeah well the dude abides now, as you may or may not know, when you're in this game of social media content creator, whatever, uh, you, you gotta, you're forced into a position where you have to be a bit of a self promoter. I make stuff on TikTok, I make stuff on YouTube, and I kind of, you know, make content for all kinds of different social media formats. But uh, you know, when you're doing that, sometimes you, you collect quite a bit of stuff in one genre or another, especially with the type of stuff that I'm doing. And I've got quite a collection of impressionist uh, tidbits. So today, oh, as you know, because you clicked on the video, I'm going to share just those things. So, enjoy. Before art critic and journalist Louis Leroy was writing about Claude Monet and his work, Impression Sunrise, using Impressionist as a name of disrespect, but the name stuck. Impressionist Claude Monet got his start working under the name Oscar Monet, creating characters of people. Impressionist attribute number one, paint would have been applied over a white ground versus previous generations that painted their canvases in dark gray or a colored ground before painting the picture. Impressionist Pierre Auguste Renoir had a very unique idea when it came to color in his paintings. He very rarely used black or brown to create shadows. Famed Impressionist painter Mary Cassatt got her start and developed her skills by copying masterpieces at the world famous Louvre Museum in Paris. Impressionist attribute number two the Impressionists preferred opaque paint to transparent paint, so they did not use films or glazes. They used really thick buildups of paint. Impressionist painter Alfred Sisley spent the majority of his adult life in poverty. As a matter of fact, he relocated more than a dozen times to try to find cheaper and cheaper places to live in and around Paris. Impressionist attribute number three. They would prefer to focus on a work style called in plein air or outdoors. Impressionist painter Claude Monet created 250 water lily paintings during the last 30 years of his life. That's nearly one every month for 30 years. Now, Auguste had known Rose since 1864 when they were just kids, and many people don't know that they had a son together that they basically pawned off on other family members because neither one of them had a parental bone in their bodies, but I digress. He finally decided to commit to Rose and get married at the age of 76, only two weeks before her death and one year before his. Impressionist attribute number four, light and color were absolutely huge. They worked with natural light and even with darker moments, they would use an effect called an effects de soir to pop out that color. Just prior to his death, Claude Monet would will all of his artworks that were unsold to the French government so none of them could be in the hands of the Americans. Impressionist attribute number five, wet paint was applied into wet paint in an alla prima technique that would soften the edges and allow a fusion of the colors. Although suffering from very severe rheumatoid arthritis, Pierre Auguste Renoir would continue to paint throughout his career till the very end. American Impressionist James McNeil Whistler once stated, an artist is not paid for his labor, but paid for his vision. Impressionist attribute number six, the Impressionist would avoid black, so to produce a darker or grayed out color, they would mix in the complement in order to get that darker tone. Camille Pizarro is the only artist to be involved with all eight 
of the original Impressionist shows. Impressionist attribute number seven, colors are applied next to each other without mixing. This is to allow the colors to look a little bit more vivid to the viewer. In 1880, Auguste Rodin was given a government studio where he could work for the remainder of his life in exchange for all of his works after his death. Impressionist Bertha Morris Sott once said, real painters understand with a brush in their hand. Impressionist attribute number eight, thick strokes were preferred over fine details because they could add texture with the impasto. Her paranoia would manifest itself in her creating these booby traps behind her doors and only speaking to people behind a closed door. This set up a lot of red flags and people were kind of put off by her. In 1912, she destroyed all of her work in the studio, and the following year her dad would die. But sort of in a twist, she didn't know because nobody told her that her dad died. She just felt like she was cut off by him. And her mother and siblings then took the opportunity to have her diagnosed with paranoia and committed into an insane asylum. With her being institutionalized, the family had her entire studio workspace workshop destroyed. Now the doctors were saying, listen, this girl's not insane, she's just sad, and she got some issues, but she's not crazy, she doesn't belong here. But the family wanted her put away, they wanted her gone, so they just left her there. She still had some outspoken fans trying to persuade her family. Even Rodin tried to persuade her family. But all of this was without success. She would spend 30 years in an asylum. After years of being locked away, she finally just kind of gave up and completely abandoned creating sculptures. One of the irrational thoughts that made her stop making art was her belief that Rodin was going to steal her ideas. And so she stopped making work largely to try to get back at Rodin. Today, only 90 works of her still exist today because much of it, as mentioned, she had destroyed herself. Sadly, she would die alone in 1943 at the age of 78. She would be buried in a mass grave at the asylum, as her body was never claimed by her family. Follow for more art-related content. Again, when I, when I write something, when I write a text, especially if I'm in a um, particularly impassioned uh, place, it's, 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 it's a canvas, it's a painting. Right. <laughs>